Good morning. How are you? It's Mary Jo. Welcome in. I had a just kind of cockeyed here because the light's a little wonky this morning. And you know me, I don't like using my ring light. It shines in my, my glasses too much. So yeah, we'll figure that out when I want when I was done. So I hope everyone's doing well. Today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. We have a new moon in Leo today. I'm not doing a specific new moon reading, but we're just going to tap in and see what the energies, what energies, what energies want to come through. I'm telling you, Mercury pre-shadow always messes with my language, my speech, and that's just, he's, do it again so yeah it's a beautiful day actually outside it is pouring rain it's muggy <laughs> it is muggy but um, i love hearing the rain it's just it's been pouring since yesterday afternoon around three or four i think it was Two, no, two, started around two. Doesn't matter, I know. Doesn't matter, Mary Jo. But it hasn't stopped. <laughs> so we have flood issues and water in the roads and my driveway is nothing but a puddle. Good thing I drive a Bronco. I can barrel through that. So, yeah. But I love, I love the rain. I love the rain. We've got higher power coming out. Divine Mother, Divine Father, what are the highest messages you want us to know? Well, we've already got Divine Mother and Divine Father coming out here. Here and now. It's really just suddenly got this really peaceful energy flowing over me. One more. Yang. Interesting. So Yang is the masculine energy. It's the energy of taking action here and now. But this is the energy of, okay, all right, I got it, Spirit. So Spirit is saying here is, you know, this is the time right now we're being asked to take a, take a break. Be here now. Be present in whatever's in front of you. Because in the, I'm hearing in the blink of an eye, Things are going to start speeding up. Action, forward movement. If you feel like things aren't moving for you right now, that's typical. We're in retrograde season. You know, we have Mercury is in this pre-shadow. We've got Venus retrograde. So if you're, if things on the romance end of your life is kind of stagnant or slowed down a little bit, or your finances have kind of slowed down. Um, Spirit saying that's okay. Don't don't fret about that. Just be in the present moment. Take time to tap in to your higher self within, and uh, because it's like you're being prepared, you're being prepared. You're being prepared to, for things to take off. And I remember was it last week or the week before I had a, a message come through about we're being prepared for takeoff. We're about to take off. And it's, I feel like, you know, we, we all felt that energy, you know, things were about to just really take off. We could feel all the energy building underneath, but now this is the time spirit wants us to really just take a, take a beat, take a moment, regroup, recenter and breathe and just be, take, take care of what's in front of you. If it's not in front of you, it's not meant for you right now. Don't. Don't project into the future. Just be here now. And so it's really where we're at. You know, we've got, you know, we've got the past, we've got the future, and, and we're right here. And that is that limbo stage, that energy of limbo that I was getting through yesterday in the message. It just has a different feel to it today. Yesterday it felt like it was really wonky and un 
unstable, you know, not knowing which direction you're going in. But today it feels a little more, I don't want to say, I, I do, I want to say grounded, but it's not grounded in the physical yet. It's like our energy is coming down, it's coming in, you know, we're, we're pulling that, that future timeline in. We are definitely about to change timelines. Um, kind of what I got through yesterday afternoon from my higher self, kind of, kind of assessing, um, assessing, assessing where I was going, okay, I recognize where I am now, what happened in the other times when I felt like, like I didn't have my footing, and that was, I was in the middle of a transition, I was getting ready to step onto a new timeline, it just wasn't fully pulled into my reality yet, because everything exists on another timeline, on a higher dimension, um, you know, in, in a higher frequency, we're raising our frequency, and as we do that, we, we, we pull in and we get closer to the higher timeline that we're pulling in. Does that make sense? My nose is really itching and, and I, I mean, I've, I've got, my guides are just really coming through here. Yeah, we've got strength here, Leo energy, new moon in Leo. New moons are about new beginnings, setting the intentions for what you want moving forward. What do you want that new timeline to look at, look like, you know? You know, let's get prepared now. Set your intentions. Be very crystal clear on your intentions because when it's time, things are going to start taking off. You're going to be led into the action that you're meant to take. All right. Let's tap in here. I'm not ready to take them. Not ready to take them. Divine Mother, Divine Father, Holy Spirit, Highest Self, what other messages do you have for us? Yeah, Hangman and Empress. This is where we're at. You know, this is kind of like the gestation phase of being pregnant with the Empress here. You know, we're waiting for the time for the birth of the, the, the baby, right? You know, for those of us who have <laughs> babies. Um, it's just, it doesn't matter, you know, male or female. We are in, we are in this, this transition, transition stage because something is about to really pop off here. Something's really about to shift. And what's shifting is we're, it's going to be a whole new life that you're, you're not going to recognize any, anything in it. It may have a similar feel to it, but then it won't. This is very interesting energy that we are in. What else do you want to say about this spirit? For some of you, you are literally waiting for a baby to be, born, to be born. Literally waiting. Is it time? You can feel it's time. Even if you're the mother. You're like, no, I've got like another month to go, but you're like, but I feel it's going to happen sooner. You know, and in that time, you're like, you're, you're, you're getting prepared. You're getting the downloads. You're getting um, the rest that you need before this happens. Because boy, if you, if you've ever had a baby, uh, you know, you don't get a lot of sleep for the next how many years? Uh, we'll, we'll put 18, but you know, my, my baby's 34 and. You know, I don't worry about her. I don't have a lot of sleepless nights over her. But I do take a lot of time and I pray. So take the time out now. This is where you're at. Let's rest. Let's get re let's regroup. Let's receive the downloads. You know, even if we don't understand what the downloads mean and what they're what they're saying to us in that in this moment, we will eventually. We always do. We always do. What else, Spirit? You ever notice that those of us who channel, we repeat ourselves? <laughs> I've noticed that watching other mediums and uh, psychic tarot readers, um, it's like we do, we repeat ourselves. And it's not us doing it. It's, it's the message coming through is because it needs to be repeated. It bears repeating, I guess you could say. Yeah. 
devil. Let's see what the devil, what else wants to come out with the devil before I speak on that. All right. Wow, big cards coming out. Out of six cards, five are major arcanas. We've got the hangman and the empress waiting for this new life. Here we've got the devil, judgment, three of swords, the tower. It's all in here and it's just a bam. You know, we've gone through this. Maybe that's, some of us are there now, coming out of the dark, now of the soul, really recognizing and reconciling with our ourselves, our past selves. Maybe it's um, with the with the three of swords. Maybe this is about grieving the past self for for some. Um, for 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 some, this is about um, something from the past that a decision from the past that you feel could have gone better that didn't turn out the way that you wanted you're going to see a, a higher um you're going to see it from another perspective i'm hearing interesting that's coming through with these cards um yeah the hangman's over here going this is this is me bringing the energy over here you're going to see it in a whole new light you're going to see things in a whole new light Wait, no, so with the three of swords and the tower, this, this says to me that something's about to, again, pop off. It's, it's, something's about to, to pop off. You know, this is like a breakthrough, an aha moment, or forward movement coming really quickly. This is the universe, though. I mean, the major arcana is the universe coming in and shifting this energy. And here you're, you're, you might be sitting in this, this self-grief of, um, you know, like I said, mourning the, the old self, not knowing who you were quite yet. But something is about to come back to life. Maybe that's a, the aspect of you or an aspect of a situation that you thought was done and over with. Then all of a sudden, you know, this is your honest coming in. Bam! We do have, um, who is square Uranus in this new moon? Well, this new moon is square Uranus. I believe uh, Venus, because Venus retrograde is right next to this new moon. She's square Uranus. Like I said, Uranus is about ready to, um, I think I said, I don't know. <laughs> Uranus is about to go retrograde at the end of the month on the 28th, I believe. So this is, this is like, things, yeah, I've got to write that down. are about to pop off it just keeps repeating in my in my head here I feel like for some you you you, you don't see it coming because you're 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 I'm not I don't want to say you're too focused on other things I'm saying you're you're really focused on your inner yourself your growth your inner self um, getting you know maybe you're meditating maybe you're you know really um, just being in the present moment with the downloads that you're receiving. You're not looking forward, you're not looking pat, you know, backwards. And that's so whatever is coming in, it's, it's going to shock you, it's gonna surprise you, it's, it's always good, it's, it's always for the good. I'm getting with the, the devil energy in the tower here. I am getting in the three of swords. If not, i got to add it all back in. <laughs> I love how spirit works. For, and I'm hearing for a lot of us, and this came through again yesterday too. For a lot of us, this is a, a very highly sexual, highly passionate um, connection. It's re being reborn. It's, it's going to surprise you. It's not going to have the same energy as heartbreak as it may have had before where you thought it was toxic. This is like you've got a whole new view of it. It comes through with a whole new energy.
but that because that, that that devil is coming through is like va va la boom energy for me this morning it's been a long time since he's come through like that could also be your capricorn like i am you know this is capricorn's card the devil so this new moon is really bringing in it will the, the new moon of leo is about romance and passion and creativity you know you you get the creativity here um let's get, let's get a little more let's see if we can narrow this down specifically um for a couple areas of our lives Yeah, I love that. So Six of Swords, the moon in the in the Page of Pentacles. This is where, you know, after this new moon, it's, it's, it is going to move us into something very brand new, something really refreshed, re rejuvenated, um, ready, you know, boots on the ground that came through the other day as well. This is something that's brand new. It might look a little similar, but it's going to have a whole new energy to it. And it's going to be time to, to take action. You know, Pentacles is about putting it into the physical, you know, creating something that you can touch and feel and recognize and um, see with your eyes. And it brings it in. It's pulling this 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 new timeline into the physical so no new things can start taking place. Again, with the moon and the hangman, you might not see it coming. There, there might be aspects um, the, that you're just not aware of and it's going to be surprising. Uranus is going to come in and it's going to shake things out. I'm sure um, Uranus has already shaken things out of our lives and maybe that's what's going on under the surface. Um, so whatever is coming in, in for you, whoever, if this is involving a, a job or another person, maybe that aspect of the situation is having things stirred up and shaken out of their experience. So they can be prepared and ready to to enter into this timeline with you you know because we do have the six of swords here with, with the two people well we got three we've got a child so that's you know new beginnings but yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna be the same energy you're moving out of the the old energy the old turbulent waters and moving towards something very new this is new land, new territory. You've not known it before. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. You've not known it before. All right, let's finish this up. Yeah, you're going to be very successful. Recognize for who you are. I'm hearing recognize for who you are. Yeah, so I'm really paying attention how we've got. So we've got the death card here, but I'm really seeing how we've got two riders on white horses out with the old in with the new is what I'm hearing out with the old in with the new I'll write that down <laughs> yeah. totally new timeline whole new timeline Anything else? I'm not feeling it. No. All right. Close it out with a shaman's dream. A little interesting deck that they had me choose this morning. Three. Two more shuffles. It's just coming straight down. <laughs> Just please, Spirit, thank you for those that we received so far. Feeling one more out of this. We do have the one that was on the bottom of the deck.
There it is. <laughs> Took a minute. All right, I love that. So on the bottom of the deck, we have Teachability, Hollow Bone. It is a 10 card, 2 plus 8. This is saying to me, be empty of all the old. Be empty of all the old so you can be filled with the new. Yeah, that's all that's coming through with that. So this is about releasing the past, releasing the old thought forms, belief patterns, whatever that is for you. Putting an end to it all. Because we're, we're about ready to step into a whole new timeline. It's not anything you're going to recognize. There are going to might be aspects, you know, like there might be the same people, but the energy is going to be totally new. And you are being asked to be open and receptive. Be teachable. Don't be so rigid in your, in your ways, in your thought forms that you can't learn something new. Something new about your, your situation, something new in your job, something new about a person that you're involved with. Because as we evolve, we need to meet one another right where we're at, here and now. Meet people right where they're at. Because wouldn't, wouldn't you want them to know, do that for you? Wouldn't you want life to meet you where you're at? Whole new energy, whole new consciousness, whole new awareness, whole new elevate, you know, level of you know, frequency, vibration. You're not who you used to be. And neither is anyone or any situation that you're facing right now, I'm hearing. All right, Lost Compass, Getting Back to Integrity. This is an eight card. Do your work. Do the inner, inner healing. Do the you know inner surfing, the deep diving. Getting back to self. Where have you lost yourself? I know there are a lot of people out there right now that are feeling quite lost. Like they, they, and they don't even know how they lost their way. It doesn't matter how you lost your way. What matters is it was meant to steer you in the right direction to find your way. I just got goosebumps on that one. You were steered off your course, so it seems. You're never off course. It just seems that way. So you can come back to yourself. Your true self. Things are about to turn in your favor. I'm seeing this as the wheel of fortune. Things are about to turn in your favor. But first, there needs to be an ending of the old life, the old thought forms, the old belief systems, the old whatever it is for you. Old mindsets is really what I'm getting through with because it's resembling for me this hangman energy. You know, we've got the antlers here. We've got this tree here that this hangman is suspended from. And here's this hollow bone suspended from this structure, but for better word, lack of better word. They're very similar. You have to empty yourself so you can be filled with the divine knowledge and the divine wisdom that is you. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Travel well today, folks. Things will settle down. Can't tell you how, but I can tell you they will. I love you.